so I am working on collecting every LEGO Star Wars minifigure ever made. I've got a good chunk of them down, I've got a little bit over half and I'm slowly building up more. And today I'm coming at you with a new video of more minifigures added to the wall. I have 11 new guys that we're going to be running through today. So we'll start in chronological order from the oldest to the newest being added to the wall. On the far left here we have Anakin Skywalker. He came out in 1999 in a few sets. This one is unique because he has a you know, brown cap there. The other one had a, a light gray cap. He's got the standard uh, printing and the long legs from the time. No alternate head on him. He goes for about you know two to three dollars on Bricklink. In the middle we have Princess Leia in her slave outfit. This one is a much rarer minifigure. She only came out in one set in 2003, Jabba's Palace. And to get this figure in good condition, you're going to pay a minimum of $30 for it. So this, this figure was quite expensive, but it's, it's a solid one. You know, for the time, it's got pretty decent printing. Um, she, they're still using, you know, the, the yellow skin on them. She's got the standard ponytail on the back there, no back printing, but she does actually include the bracket and that's how Bricklink lists her. So to have her complete, you have to have the bracket on her, which is a little funny. And again, she's about $30 to buy, you know, in good condition. On the right here, we have Luke Skywalker in his pilot outfit. And this is the variant with a uh, dark bluish gray um, leg piece right there in the middle. So this one is not a very expensive minifigure. He's about, you know, three to $5. Uh, he came out in 2004. Um, and again, this is just, you know, the basic, you know, X-Wing pilot outfit there. They got the standard Luke head there. And then his helmet, not a very fancy minifigure. None of them are. None of them contain back printing nor alternate heads. But they're all minifigures I needed for the wall. And I'm very glad to have them now. But that does it for these three. Let's get on the next ones. Alrighty, up here we have some cool minifigures. On the far left here, we have a Treadwell droid. This guy came out in 2005 in the uh, Sandcrawler set. And this is a cool, you know, nostalgic Treadwell droid. This is one that was always running around in the, the old Lego Star Wars video game. So it's a cool one to have. Um, it's not a very expensive minifigure. It's all brick built, so anyone can really build this with pieces in their collection. To get it, you know, complete on Bricklink, it's about 4 to $5, it's not very expensive. And it doesn't, you know, look like a Treadwell droid. Because, you know, Treadwell droids have those eyes up here. But, man, the nostalgia on this thing, you know, hits hard. It's really cool. I'm glad to have it. In the middle here, we have just a pilot battle droid. And this came out in 2007 in the MTT set. It's a very cheap minifigure. It's about, you know, 3 to $5 on Bricklink. It's not going to charge you a whole lot of money. And what makes this minifigure exclusive is the blue uh, chest piece here. It is a solid blue color, there's no tan, there's no print, and then also his head doesn't have any printing either, so just a standard battle droid head there. So pretty, pretty basic pilot droid, I think, but the first, uh, no, actually, I'm sorry, that's not the first pilot droid, and this is the second one that LEGO ever released. On the far right here, we have the Clone Wars style clone trooper with black antenna. This is a little bit more expensive. He came out in 2010 in the clone turbo tank set, and he goes for about eight to ten dollars on Brickling New. So he's just a standard clone trooper. You know, we've seen this, you know, get up a million times. Clone Wars style printing. He's got, you know, the the old clone clone wars looking face right there. But what makes him exclusive is this solid black rangefinder on his on his helmet here. So and this piece is not rare either. It you know, it came out in a few different sets, but in this uh, specific getup. Um, actually released in a set it only came out in the clone turbo tank so if you're trying to complete this for your collection you know you can just get a standard clone trooper and if you have the black antenna just pop that thing on there pretty easy to complete but that does it for these three guys let's get on to the next ones all right next up we have droids on the left here we have a rocket battle droid this guy came out in 2011 in the droid tri fighter set this is the rocket battle droid commander so you can see he's got the the yellow print in the middle there and then on his head as well you can see the yellow print he's got a little jetpack on the back there and he's got the the cool dark orange droid you know torso and head and then the the dark bluish gray arms and legs he's not a very expensive minifigure he's maybe about you know five dollars pretty easy to pick up in the middle here we have r3po 
So this guy came out in 2011 in the Hoth Echo Base set. And this is a cool little droid, you know? Um, it's before they started going super detailed on the protocol droid printing, so you can see C-3PO next to him. You know, super detailed. This is the old, you know, protocol droid printing there. Super basic, no printing on the head, just the torso. If we flip him around there, he's got just, you know, basic printing on the back as well. Um, this is a cool figure to have, just in the standard red too. So they released an R-3PO later on in the, the dark red, like what a, this guy's arm is made out of. And it looks a lot better, but this is a cool, you know, precursor to that. This guy is, it's a little more expensive. He's maybe about, you know, eight to ten dollars on Brickwink if you want him. And then on the far right here, we have C-3PO with a red arm. So this is his appearance from The Force Awakens. Um, he came out in a poly bag in 2015. And he goes for maybe about, you know, eight to ten dollars. He's not super, super expensive. Um, it's a very detailed minifigure. You know, he's got his eye printing up there, torso and leg printing, super, super detailed. And then also arm and leg printing, which, you know, is not super common, but it is for C-3PO, so it's very cool to have it. Uh, back printing as well looks nice, and on the other side as well. So this is one of the more detailed minifigures that I feel like LEGO has ever produced. Like, arm printing is not super uncommon anymore, but, you know, especially for the time 2015, leg printing was super uncommon. So that's pretty cool to have. So these are, these are both three really cool minifigures that be added to the collection. But that does it for these guys. Let's get on to the next ones. All right, last but certainly not least, we have our final two minifigures. So on the left here, we have an Imperial Conveyx gunner. This guy came out in 2018 in the Imperial Conveyx transport. He's from the Solo movie, so, you know, not a whole lot of sets made from this movie. And he's a really cool minifigure. It's a, it's a gunner, but he's got like winter garb. So you can see he's kind of got like an overcoat there. It's a really cool printing on the sides there to, you know, indicate wear and tear. And it's also got this really nice cloth uh, fur piece over there. So he's a cool, cool minifigure. Only came out in one set. He's just got a, the one head there. And this guy is kind of expensive. He's about $25 to find. You know, Imperials are getting more and more expensive to get there. And he only came out one set, a solo set at that. So he's a little further up there. On the right here is a much more common minifigure. This is Poe Dameron. He came out in 2021 in like the 4 Plus X-Wing set. Not super hard to find. He's about $5. Um, but nonetheless, he's a good minifigure, right? Um, he's got the cool, he's got really detailed torso print there. Nothing on the leg, but it's a, you know, nothing to expect from a 4 Plus set. I always really like these, you know, X-Wing helmets with the, uh, the visor over there. Um, don't like it for like the standard ones, but the, the sequel, uh, helmets are pretty good in that way um, he's got you know back printing there and then he also has a alternate head there as well and I think these are the different heads that you get for Poe every time um, so nothing nothing super special about this minifigure I think he also had a different iteration in his just jacket before as well but nonetheless a cool figure to have um, so that does it for the overlook but let's go put all these guys on the wall all right, so this is what the wall is looking right now. Looking pretty full because now we have over 800 minifigures. We just crossed that threshold. We're at 802. But let's see where all the different guys ended up. So over at the top here, we have Luke. And then there's the Treadwell droid. There's uh, Leia over there. And then Anakin. If we go down a little bit further, there's the pilot battle droid. Um, a little further down is the clone trooper and the black antenna, and then right next to him is the battle droid commander. Way over here we have R-3PO, and then we take a pretty big jump down into the next one, which is going to be C-3PO with his red arm. A little bit further down is the Conveyx driver, and then Poe Dameron. And I believe that was everyone, so hopefully we caught them all. And we're getting, you know, we're chipping away at this. It's looking pretty full. You know, it doesn't feel like more than like half is gone now. There's not a whole lot of spaces anymore. It's feeling pretty complete. I do need to add a next, the next row for the 2023 set still. Um, I need to order some more base plates to put below them as well. So that's why I'm kind of just being lazy and putting that off as much as I can. But eventually we'll get that done and we'll start adding the newest guys to the wall as well. 
But that does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.